Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Joey Harris, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Go watch Halloween Ends in theaters. Do you have any new projects coming up that you can potentially uh, talk about? I do. Uh, I have a project coming up. I just got done filming in New Orleans, and uh, it's called Lisa Frankenstein, so it's based off the novel by Mary Shelley. And um, it takes place in the 80s, and it stars a bunch of really incredibly talented people. It's got Cole Sprouse, Catherine Newton, Liza Soberano, Henry Eikenberry, who made his debut earlier this year in Euphoria. Um, and we have our director, uh, Zelda Williams. She's making her directorial debut. So it's going to be an incredible project. And it's really funky. It's very, um, it's, I don't even know how to explain it. I, I just think that it's it's a very interesting project that I don't think anybody will ever see anything like it. I think okay. it's a category of its own. Right. That's a good way to describe it, I guess. Sweet. Nice. And when does it come out? Uh, so right now, I think they're aiming for mid next year, maybe around the same time uh, as Halloween Ends released, maybe sometime right. in October. Over because it is you know a Frankenstein kind of gig, right. spooky. But they haven't given us an exact date yet, unfortunately. So I will right. keep on that. Sweet, awesome. Uh, and now, well, you already mentioned Halloween. Obviously, uh, oh. that was probably a great um, thing to be part of. So, what was oh, it like I filming that film? Oh, it's incredibly surreal. Um, it was, I think, a journey that taught me a lot in terms of you know what this industry is really like things that i that you can try to study for but you will never really understand until yeah. you're thrown into the pool so that was great uh it was a learning curve i think in that sense um but it taught me a lot about um making work relationships making friendships making um Making art, it was an incredibly fulfilling experience in so many different ways. Sweet, I can imagine. <laughs> and uh, like, what, what was the um, what was the core lesson you would say you learned then? Um, I think that there was one day on set where, you know, I I don't have you seen it. Of course, yeah. That's Twice I already. I want to spoil anything for you. Right. Um, the day on set that I was um, underneath the car, underneath the chain link, that scene, I was act. It was actually four night shoots. So I was underneath that car and underneath the chain link for about ten hours for four nights, <laughs> crying my eyes out in dirt and mud and fake blood. I had to wash my hair five times every single night I got back. Because right. it just came back in the water and I just had to keep going until oh, it was <laughs> And um, at one point I was sitting there underneath the fence. They were moving stuff around to, get, you know, to sh shift the cameras for a different angle. And um, something, just the movement of it kicked dirt into my eyes. And because I was trapped under there and I, I couldn't see, I started panicking. So they had to pull me out and they took me over and I, you know, they were doing eye rinses with those little cups and I was panicking and I was like, I am, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I feel really guilty right now that I'm not able to do what you need me to do. And they said, Hey man, we're just making a movie. Right. I was like, right, but we're making a movie. <laughs> But I think that's the, the, the one thing that I would never have expected and that it really made me realize we're just all little pieces of a puzzle trying to create something big and trying to create something that everybody will like. And everyone just wants to make it an incredible experience, if not for themselves, then for the other people that they're yeah. with. And so in that moment, it was everything I needed to hear. And yet it was such a small thing, but it really was just a big window of realization that it just, it, it, it doesn't matter your, your health and your safety and your, your happiness and your, your ability to perform is 
what's important in order to make the project itself come to life. Because if you're not able to do those things and those things aren't present, then you have nothing. Right. So a lot said in such a small phrase. Yeah. I mean, it is a small thing, but I mean, it makes a huge difference because if you're just well, laying under a fence for 10 hours, you know, of course, at some point, you know, yep. that takes a toll on you. So yeah. I bet that took some pressure off uh, afterwards yeah. for all the shootings. It was, it was so, so special. And I, I would have, you know, our, our ADs and everyone coming up and they had me in a little medic tent and everything. And they came up and they're like, when you're done, I want to give you a hug. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but that sounds great. So um, that's, even though it's such a small thing to realize, I think that's actually the biggest thing I learned. Right. Do you remember who said it? Uh, that to give me a hug? No, no, no. Who, who, who gave you like, who was like, hey, we're just making a movie here. I couldn't see. Oh. <laughs> I was with my eyes were closed and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I can't open my eyes. I'm sorry. <laughs> they were like, I'm over here. <laughs> so, hey, man, we're just making a movie. And I was right. Like, you can't even thank the damn person because you don't know who it <laughs> is. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know who it was, but it was it was just a voice from the great abyss. And it was right. everything I didn't care. Yeah. So whoever you were, <laughs> would like to come forth, please. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and then I was also wondering, you know, the premiere wasn't too long ago. How was what was that like? You know, did you guys meet in between then or was it like a re reunion pretty much at the premiere? And uh, it definitely was a reunion for most people. There were only two people that I've been able to see um, between the time of filming and the premiere. And that is Martine, who plays Billy, and actually my stunt double, Meredith Richardson. And um, I have become such good friends with both of them and Meredith when I was filming my last project actually flew into new Orleans to surprise me. And uh, so we were able to spend time uh, on that project together. And even though she wasn't working on it, cause I had no stunts, but um, we do, you know, our Starbucks, that's our big thing is we, we bonded over the love of coffee. <laughs> so we all on FaceTime cause she lives in Georgia. I live in California. So, you know, you know, twice a week, maybe we do Starbucks dates and we just talk and try new drinks. And, and then as for Martine, you know, we live in the same state and only about a two hour drive away from each other. So we're able to see each other realistically more often and everyone else is just spread all over the country. So, um, for the most part, it was just a reunion for everyone. Right. Well, yeah. That must and have been great though. Yeah, it was so good to see everyone again. And everyone was just so enlightened, so excited to see what we had created. And it was, it's this own little expression, facial expression. It's just something in the eyes that you can't, you get with nothing else. And so seeing everyone light up at this event, knowing that we're all going to feel so proud of what we created is, it was very, very special cool and then i mean the movie started and what was it like then you know i mean um <laughs> what was it like to be there with with uh your actors and then seeing yourself up on the screen with all these people because it looked huge you know there was a huge crowd there and uh, you know i'm in film school and yeah. i had my own like 30 second project you know and when i saw the first frame that I created, I was like, oh, fuck, is anybody going to like this, you know? So mm -hmm. what was it like then when it was over and everybody, you know, started talking about the movie? Oh, my gosh. Well, so when we received our scripts, first off, we were only able to see our own scenes. And right. if there was another scene that bled onto the page, they just completely scribbled it out with Sharpie. So even to us, the rest of what was happening was a complete surprise. Right. So I actually really enjoyed that. And that's what I tried to yeah. do for this reading project because they provided me the whole script. But I was like, no, I only want to read my scenes now because I still want to be able to enjoy it like an audience. So I was only able to see my own scenes and 
nothing else. So then when I went to do my ADR work, I only saw my own scenes, nothing else. And when I did my ADR work, uh, I almost started crying because that was the first time that I had actually seen myself on a screen, you know, acting. That wasn't yeah. just you know, my audition. And so that I think was the first kick of where it kind of hit me. And so I think it was like a little level up before I hit the, the giant movie screen. And so it's still, it wasn't as shocking. I don't think when I saw it on the movie screen as it would have been had I not seen it during my ADR work. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was, it was still alarming. I still looked at myself and was like, there is no way. There is no right. way. That I know. And I just kept looking around to see everyone's reactions and everyone was so enthralled by it. And everyone was so uh, just enveloped in what was happening. And I don't think I saw anyone else look away except for me just to see everyone's reactions, yeah. you know? And yeah, it was, it, it was like everyone was in a trance, just absolutely absorbed into this project and, and this film. And so it was just all one bundle of overwhelming pride, I think. <laughs> so even though you want to sit there and go, oh, why did you do that? Oh, why did you make that? <laughs> right. you know, why did you sound like that? You sound like your nose is stuffed, you know? You, I think at that point, it's no longer about you and it doesn't feel like you because it's such a huge thing. You're like, there's no way that's me. So I'm not looking at it as though it's me. Right. Yeah. It's just, it's just chaotic. And so, right. I, yeah, that was it. It's just chaotic. And so, um, did I answer the question? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> awesome. I can imagine that it's just fucking whirlwind of emotions when you see that yeah, yeah. That, that's what it was like i was just every single place i looked i had just 10 different lists of thoughts coming into my my mind right. and i just didn't do with them <laughs> well sweet uh and then there's a more random philosophical question uh awesome. if you ruled the world what would it look like <laughs> If I rule the world, um, there would be much better drivers. Oh, man. For sure. There, yep. <laughs> much better drivers. I would say animals are my, my huge soft spot. So every single animal would be happy, healthy, safe. Okay. Every single animal right. ever. Yeah. And... Uh, <laughs> um, if I were to rule the world, we wouldn't have any, uh, I mean, obviously the obvious, the violence, the hunger, yeah. none of that. But let's think more, what are the silly things I want in my world? <laughs> more Starbucks, maybe. I was going to, I was just about to say, <laughs> free coffee for life, free coffee for life, free travel. Free travel, no debt. It would also be great. I heard this, this, I don't know what it was from, but it's in, I think it's a film and you can type in what you want for dinner into this machine. It spits out a little capsule with all the nutrients for everything in that meal. And you just take the capsule and that's your meal. And right. I, I think that would be very convenient because yeah. sometimes I, I just forget to eat because I get busy. And I think that would be great. For sure. So those are yes. my little random things that I would love. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, and I mean, you already said pretty much uh, bad drivers, but what's your biggest pet peeve? Would you say that's it? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, I, I, I just don't know what it is when, because driving for me is very therapeutic. I love mm. driving. And I, yeah. I just love it. And it's so fun. And so when people don't, you know, they make it more difficult than it needs to be, or they can't 
figure out how to function in their own vehicle. You're like, did you even really take the test? Or right. You just so I think that is actually my biggest pet peeve. Right. Yeah. I I don't know where you get therapeutic. I mean, maybe health way I get a little therapeutic, but I'm just stressing. <laughs> really? You know, fucking trucks on the right, buses going 50 miles per hour too fast on the left. You know. Yeah. I think. Um, well, I'm 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 a very defensive driver, so I I always have an out. I'm never in between anything. So okay. Uh, the amount of accidents I have avoided is absolutely insane i avoided even three accidents on the drive over from home to la yesterday and um you gotta do the right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah and then i'm like i i and la is the only place i've ever felt like honking at people usually i'm just oh, yeah. myself in my car and you don't know how to drive blah, 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 blah. but la is yeah. the only place Come on! Right. <laughs> Sweet. And uh, the last question, if your life was a movie, how would you want it to end? Um, hmm. How would I want it to end? That's a really good question because I think that it would be basic to say having everything I've ever dreamt of but i'm already on that route right um cheesy maybe cheesy maybe maybe it would end with me sitting on a beach in washington watching the sunset eating french fries <laughs> and uh Coffee? Talking with my and coffee, and, uh, <laughs> just talking with my family and friends. Right, sweet. That's, Sounds a lot better than your ending in Halloween ends. <laughs> you know what? I think I much prefer that ending. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> I agree. I think it's much preferable over getting my face squished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Is there uh, anything you would like to add to the interview? Oh, putting me on the spot. I don't know. I don't know. Go watch Halloween ends in theaters now. Do it. Do it already. Yes, for sure. do it. <laughs> Go watch Halloween ends. It's serious. I'm serious. So yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> awesome. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs>